Charles Landry is that what, what we call in our field definitely a motivator. He's a real motivator. So he's not the one who's like an expert in creativity or untertalak and so on, whatever. This is not the point. The point is he's a motivator. He's somebody, he was talking about shifts in the discussion. There was very much the question of shift, urban shift, creativity shift, sabadiska uh, shift, like a society shift. All of this yeah, happens. But he's the one who is able to really motivate people to do the shift. Although his presentation was not very concrete, I mean, it was very abstract. And uh, it didn't say like clearly, you do that and that and that and that now. But that happens right now, outside there, in the informal discussion. And the talk talk, as we call it, as the Urban Institute always, the talk talk now is like very much, I mean, everybody who's running around there is like right now in the moment, very vibrantly, okay, how should we act? How should we do? And even the panelists are approaching the city architect and asking him, okay, we have an idea, we want to do something. So you see, that, that is what is motivating. So this is the, the presentation, this is the one thing. This is why we as the Institute constantly try to, Urban Institute constantly try to, 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 to bring up discussions like this. Well, the discussion today was about whether architects have a wider role and a social role in society beyond just creating buildings. Um, I'm not sure that everybody agreed, but there seemed to be a consensus that we have to change the way we look at planning, designing cities, making cities, which needs to be in one way or another more collaborate, collaborative bringing more interests together or stakeholders, whatever word you want to use. And that, to some extent, changes the role of the architecture as simply the star, if I can put it like that, um, to someone who is being influenced in part by the audiences within which their physical structures, buildings and so on uh, are put. And I think, basically, people tended to agree that that was probably a good idea. Well, um, do you think uh, what you are planning today, how the discussions will go, is, is, is it happened the, the way you expect it, expected? Or? Well, I thought the discussions were interesting because um, so often I'm not an architect and obviously it forced me to think through the eyes of the architect and I'm aware that some architects feel that this approach, even this more collaborative approach, may be restrictive in some sort of way. But I thought it was very interesting the way the architects and the audience, of which there were many, felt that this was also a, a, an opportunity in a way and m the results may be quite unexpected, you know, whether that is in housing, in a suburb, or a building in the centre uh, 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 of the city. So I think it's interesting to have even just posed the question, has the architect got a social role? Do they have to have a moral position? All these sort of questions, which are big questions, and, and I think it's good to ask big questions. Galvenā atziņa tāda, ka Rīga, Latvija, Baltija vispār kopumā ir ļoti unikāla, unikāla vide, ar unikālu vēsturu, unikālu kultūru, un ko mums ir jābūt ļoti uzmanīgiem, interpretējot rietumos, tapušus teorētiskus rakstus un par to, kā mēs to visu realizējam mūsu sistēmā. Ja es saku, mēs esam diezgan diezgan īpaši, un mums ir ļoti cītīgi jāstrādā pie tā, lai attīstītu uh, disciplīnu kā tādu, kā domāt pilsētām, kā domāt pa vīdi par valsti kopumā, uh, kas ir balsības mūsu paši pieredzes. Protams, šādi pasākumi ir ļoti vajadzīgi, ļoti nepieciešami, bet mums jābūt arī kritiskiem. Tas, ko mums ir dāda, un tas, ko vispār to dāda, Varbūt pat līdzīgi vismaz ceļu, tas man liekas popularizēšanas vērts. Es ar to domāju gan Urbāna institūta, gan tos cilvēkus, kas šeit sēdēja un ieskaitot arī Gvido, man 
nebija bijusi iespēja redzēt, teiksim, viņu pozīciju, kā pilsētas arhitektu. Man liekas simpātiski, teiksim tā, ja šis ir viens solis, ko viņš pozicionē sevi kā amata personu šī vicienā, man tas liekas ļoti simpātiski. Jo tā ir cita veida pieeja, kā es arī to jautājumu uzdevu, ja tā ir atšķirīga pieeja no tā, kā mēs esam piedaduši skatīt arhitektu, kā kā kaut kādu visu lietu galveno izdarītāju pabeidzē un sakāt to, tad nu es pārspīju arī vēl nezēmēs lietu, bet vairāk kā, kā teiksim, kā spēles laukumu, kā noteikumu radītāju, kurā tiek atstāta apzināta, atstāta vieta, laiks un iespēja darboties citiem spēlētājiem. Tā pirmā atziņa un kopējā ir, ka diskusija ir vajadzīga. Un šķiet, ka gan formāts, gan veids, kādā mēs par to mēģinājām runāt ar tā profesionālu, tam ar sagatavot auditoriju, šķiet bija pareizs. Tie mērķi, kādas mēs uzstādījām, kādas es uzstādīju personīgi un personīgi priekš sevis un pilsētas arhitektu biroja bija. Ja tā var teikt, diskusijas šāda radoša brīva un profesionāla formāta ieturos, katram atrast savu vietu šajā diskusijā, mēģināt sevi tā kā vairāk saprast šādā plašākā kontekstā, nākotnes kontekstā un aiziet mājās ar domām un idejām vai jaunām iecerēm par to, kā mēs katrs savu darbu ikdienā varam uzlabot, pilnveidot, lai, teiksim, gala rezultātā gan pašiem savās darba vietās, savā dzīvē, gan pilsētā, Rīgas pilsētā, kurā daudz no mums strādā. Un esam atbildīgi par daudzām jomām, lai mums tā dzīve kļūtu pašiem saprotamāka, patīkamāka un tas kopējais iespējas būtu pozitīvāks.